Imagine, if you will, that you're back in sixth grade. It's nearing the end of the day, all you have to do is make it through one more lecture. One more excruciatingly painful and extraordinarily boring lecture that is, that is so boring that every word that your teacher says is going to be one step closer to sleep. When all of a sudden, there you are, dozing off, then BAM! All of a sudden you're reawakened by a paper airplane hitting you smack dab in the forehead. <laughs> you think to yourself, who threw that? You look around to see that your best friend, Ed Reed, had thrown that <laughs> all the way across the room. Slightly impressed and eager to be doing anything except listening to your instructor, you take aim and you throw that puppy back. <laughs> Only, it doesn't go to your best friend, Ed Reed. Oh no, that sucker ends up hitting a girl named Tabitha. <laughs> and Tabitha, oh my gosh, she doesn't like that. She doesn't like a lot of things that bring joy. <laughs> she takes that paper airplane, she crumples it up, and she proceeds to walk towards the trash can. Think to yourself, it's no big deal, I'll just make another one. One problem. You don't know how to fold a paper airplane. You don't even know what paper is. You know, it's not that dramatic, but you get where I'm going with this. There you are, sitting at your desk, humiliated, because from across the room, Ed is mocking and tweeting about your inability to fold paper. Today, I will be showing you how to do just that. Learning how to fold a paper airplane is helpful to keep out of boring situations, keep out of embarrassing situations, and helps to improve creative, creative skills as there are a plethora of different types of models to choose from. Now, this might come as a shock to you, but learning how to fold a paper airplane actually has more benefits than you might think. It's actually considered to be a form of origami, which according to Psychology Today, helps to develop spatial and perception skills, improve hand-eye coordination, learn mathematics, and improve concentration. So, today I'll be going over the three materials, or the one material that you need and the one tool. So firstly, I'm gonna be showing you how to build not one, not two, but 43 different types of plane models today. Now it's changes three types of models. So the first thing you'll need is paper. And if you look around, paper was supplied, hopefully, to all of you guys. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab your piece of paper. Now, this material can be found anywhere in your home, so don't worry about it if you're on a second a rainy day with no car. So, we're going to want to make sure that your paper, your paper is an 8 by 11. You want to make sure that it's nice and dry. You don't want it to be wet or damp, otherwise your paper is going to come out, or your airplane is going to come out as nicely as you want it to. And you're also going to, going to want to find a nice, flat surface. And you want to make sure that it's clean and organized, and there's no spilt liquid anywhere around it. Now let's go ahead and let's take a nosedive uh, right into this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to start with your paper airplane and lay it flat down on your, I just said paper airplane, it's not even a paper airplane yet. Mm -hmm. You're going to take your paper and set it down on the flat surface, just like so. <laughs> it's getting there, folks. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab the edges of your paper, like so, and go ahead and fold it in so it makes two triangles. Go ahead and crease just like this. After you've done that, you're going to go ahead and flip it over. So it's lying down. Grab one side of the triangle and go ahead and fold it over the other one. And go ahead and crease the bottom. After you've done that, I'm going to grab one of the tips of your plane and go ahead and fold it down so that you see a rectangle and a triangle. Done that, you're going to flip your plane over and repeat the same thing you did the first time. Make a rectangle and a triangle. And go ahead and twist it. And voila! You should have a paper airplane built. Now, this is something I like to call a basic paper airplane. It won't fly that far and it's not going to go where you intend it to go, but it's still a fun and easy one to build nonetheless. So let's go ahead and put that off to the side. Plane number two. 
is one of my favorites. It's called a beat paper airplane. Now this one's going to be a little more accurate than your basic paper airplane, but it won't go too far. So what you're going to do is do the same thing we did for the first one. You're going to pull two triangles and have them meet right in the middle. Now this one has a couple more steps than the first one. What you're going to do is you're going to grab it by the tip and fold it all the way down to the opposite side of the paper so it looks like an envelope. You're going to crease the top of it like so. Now you're going to take the tip of the triangle and you're going to fold it back. So it should be like a nice little triangle that can move around a bit. A little flat. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the edge of your paper, the top, and you're going to fold it right down to the kind of And repeat with the other side. There you go. Nice job. So this is where it gets a little bit complicated. You're going to fold your airplane back. So there's, you guys see how there's a little opening in your triangle right there? You're going to make sure that you fold it backwards. Just like that. Okay, so you've done that. You're going to make sure the base is facing you. Go ahead and take your airplane. You're going to make a wing. So you're going to fold it right down to where the base line is. So go ahead and face it. And go ahead and repeat to the other side. Nice job. And now you have something called a peak paper airplane. You'll see that the uh, point at the end is kind of sharp, so be careful with this. And go ahead and set that one off to the side. And now finally, you <laughs> make something called a blunt paper airplane. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it like a hot dog. Fold the paper like We're going to be a little more accurate with this one. And just like the first two, you're going to repeat the same process of holding two triangles at the very top of your paper. Stop. Now you're going to want to go ahead. With this, you're not going to go all the way down, but you're going to see where the base of your triangles are and fold it down in the middle. Now you're going to take your tip of the triangle again, fold it back up, just like so. Now this is where it gets a little complicated. You're going to take the edge of your paper, whichever one you want, and go ahead and fold it underneath the flap of the triangle. So you can go up and down right on, just like so. And you're going to repeat to the other side as well. go ahead and fold your triangle down. Just like before, you're going to go ahead and you're going to pull your airplane back. Right on the triangle. And then you're going to fold it right back down to the baseline. And now you have something called a blunt paper here. So, now that we have our airplanes made, we are going to go ahead and fly it. So grab your basic paper airplane. So the easiest way to fly this one is you're going to grab it right as close to the nose as you can. And you're just going to let it fly. So go ahead, take aim, and let it rip. <laughs> nice job. Now let's grab our beak. Now this one is going to go a lot farther than you intended to. So be very careful. So ready? Go ahead. You guys can aim at me if you want so nobody else gets hurt. And you're gonna let it grab that one. Whoa, look at that. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead and grab your beat paper airplane. Now this one is my favorite one to fly. I recommend you go on top of a tall building and you let the sucker just explode. So you grab it and let it go. Whoa! <laughs> I know, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> the online did not go. 
So today I showed you how to fold a paper airplane. I showed you how to, I showed you the materials and tools that you would need, and we also went over how to fly them. Now, when you're back in sixth grade, if you ever do go back to sixth grade, you won't have to be humiliated. Okay, Ricardo, start us off.